Hello everyone. Greetings to you all in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I believe you are doing good. Welcome to another episode of Prophetic Time. I believe that God is going to speak to you through this video and through through all the videos God has been empowering you and helping you to come more closer to him. Those who are watching me for the first time this is Evans Francis from Nagpur India. I am an evangelist into full time ministry from last 14 years. And I believe that uh, in today's uh, uh, video through today's video God is going to bless you. He is help you to understand the power of prayers and uh, many time we overlook the situations and many times we struggle through uh, to pray. But I believe that through this video God will help you to understand the power of prayer and many times in our life uh, we we decide lot of time that you know i'm going to pray every day i'm going to fast every month but you know we always fail but uh, because we don't understand what it actually does because uh, when we sit to pray we are praying but we are not understanding what god is doing and i believe that you will see what god is doing through this video in this message and he is going to help you and if you haven't subscribed to this channel do subscribe hit the bell icon so whenever i come live i share a video or a post you will be notified so without wasting lot of time let us pray and dive into the word of god Father God we come to that presence in this wonderful time master lord we come to your throne of grace i give your people into the hand your children into the hand i give today's video into the hand lord you speak to your children through your word master i cancel all the disturbances in the name of jesus and lord uh, let your will be done in their life as it is in heaven master lord you're doing it for that i thank you in jesus precious name we pray amen 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 in this video uh, you will see the power of prayer how it works uh, and how god can do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine you know many times in our life we go through situations we go through through time that we think that this is next to impossible but remember there is no word called impossible in the in the dictionary of uh, god yes there are some things that god will not cannot do he cannot sin that is something he is uh, holy but remember that uh, there is no situation that god cannot change you need to know that and you need to have faith in that uh, remember many times in our life we go through trials we go through struggles we go through situations which are hard it's very hard and we think how am i going to uh, deal with this situation i remember uh, that uh, uh last week uh, uh last week uh, one person i baptized god helped me to baptize a person and uh, i won't share bo- more more detail but after 4 hours that person died and uh, it was something shocking to me but remember what is impossible for man is possible for god this person was against bible this was this person was against uh, god but uh, he himself you know he said that i want to be baptized uh, for months he was asking but we were not getting the time but when when the lord spoke to me to baptize him i baptized him after 4 hours he died of heart attack uh, but why i'm sharing you this is that uh, remember there you we all will go through situations that we will sometimes not understand but god is behind the scene working behind the scene and if you are watching my videos from a longer time you know that and i believe that you are already maturing not to trust on men in men but to trust in god and whatever situations might come you need to know something that god is in control without god's knowledge nothing will come to pass in your life uh, but remember only through prayer that you can change your situation remember when when we read uh, in, in matthew jesus said when you fast or when you pray you know it says why it says when you fast or when you pray it says because uh, jesus expecting us to pray jesus expecting us to fast uh, you know there are some kind of things that will not live until uh, and unless you fast and pray there are some situations you need to fast and pray and that is very very important to remember a uh, a prayerless man is powerless man that's i always say everyone everywhere if you don't have a lifestyle of prayer 
then you cannot stand against the situation if you know to kneel down in front of god then there is no situation in front of you on in front you will kneel down that is very very important to, uh, when we read from uh, book of acts chapter 12 verses 1 and 2 there we can see that uh, james is uh, killed and in the same chapter we will see that peter is imprisoned uh, the first verse says about that time king herod agrippa began to persecute some believers in the church he had the apostle james uh, john's brother killed with a sword remember here we can see that uh, james uh, how he died he died with a sword but remember there is not a whole lot of space devoted to this story but remember i am sure that this loss was great to the early church remember there's really only one verse here and i am sure that the death of one and the original apostles was a great tragedy to the early church James and John were the brothers uh, that Jesus uh, had affectionately called the sons of thunder and i am sure that all the apostles were in mourning especially James brother uh, uh, James brother John but remember the larger story here is that persecution has broken out again remember if you see my if you're following my messages uh, last few messages i've already taken from the book of acts uh, and as the lord is leading me i'm sharing you from the book of acts uh, and i believe that god is empowering you god is helping you to understand lot of thing uh, remember this story is that uh, persecution has broken out again and there had been a time of persecution back in the chapter 8th and 9th uh, that was headed up uh, by Saul however Saul now got saved in, and in chapter 9 and in acts 9:31 when we read it says uh, that the church then enjoyed a peace of time but now persecution is back again and it is being led by king herod this herod is uh, agrippa the one the grandson of king herod the great who had uh, john the baptist beheaded this is now approx 44 ad or 11 years after the crucifixion crucifixion of uh, jesus christ the persecution of the church is connected with the death of stephen was about 7 years prior to this the church had that time of persecution then a time of peace and now the persecution is back again now herod agrippa had james put to death with the sword remember there is a time of peace uh, god has given but remember many times what happens is that when we go through time of peace when we go through time where there is no issue no trouble you know many times uh, we skip praying we skip fasting you know we become more worldly people because everything is going fine uh, 99% of the people who message me are the ones who are in trouble and they said uh, we are going through such and such situation i do i think only 1% not even 1% of the messages i receive is been received because they said uh, that we are been blessed by your video they have a prayer request there is no issue in prayer request uh, but what i mean to say is that many people they come to the lord only when they are going through persecution when they are going through trials when they are going through struggle and i always tell you i always say one thing that uh, that the blood of the martyrs is the seed of the big harvest that is going to take place in the kingdom of god uh, remember uh, now the things uh, that makes this more heinous is that when we read verse 3 that herod saw that putting james to death pleased the jews so he was going after peter next uh, remember you need to know something that uh, every situation will happen in your life but you need to know that god is in control of that situation and without god's knowledge nothing will come to pass uh, remember that james death was a public relations for king herod and i am sure that uh, there is not much space given this the james death uh, with a big blow to the early church uh, but uh, 
it get worse uh, even though it is only been given one verse in the bible about james death uh, but it has bigger impact in the early church uh, just imagine a servant of god in your church is been killed uh, publicly how much fear that would be but what happened is that herod understood that jews uh, jews pleased with it when we read verse 3 and 4 acts chapter 12 verses 3 and 4 it says when herod saw how much this pleased the jewish people he also arrested peter this took place during the passover celebration that is the day of unleavened bread then he imprisoned him placing him under the guards of four squads of four soldiers each herod intended to bring peter out for public trial after the passover remember seeing that murdering James made the Jews happy what happened is that Herod arrested Peter and they arrested Peter during a Jewish holiday and Jews were Jews were out celebrating the feast of unleavened bread and Herod arrests Peter to try to win more points uh, with the Jews uh, many times this is what satan does this is what people does the moment they understand they see that they have persecuted a, a pastor or a believer and somebody has been pleased you know devil will come after more uh, people will come after more uh, the one if one family comes against you and they say ill against you and the moment they see that the church enjoyed that gossip uh, what happened is that they will tell more things about that uh, and remember that is not a sign of a true believer that is not a sign of a true christian if you are rejoicing in your brothers and sisters uh, life uh, something bad has happened and if you're enjoying that uh, i doubt the spirit of god is even in your life uh, remember after arresting peter herod had him thrown into the prison now you see pete preter is in prison and his cell is been guarded he is been guarded by four squads four soldiers each that's 16 soldiers guarding peter and we will see that there are two guards actually chained to peter and the group in other different positions outside the cell and there was one of the four squad with peter at all times and each squad probably had 6 hours shift now the question comes to mind is why such security measures for peter approx 16 soldiers were given to guard one person why is that surely peter wasn't that much of a threat to society or king herod but in herod's mind there could have been such a threat uh, and when when we stop to think about the history of uh, peter's criminal record uh, remember this is peter's third arrest uh, the first time in uh, acts 4 peter was arrested and brought before the sanhedrins they threatened him and warned him about speaking any more about jesus but peter stood right there in the court room and told them that he would not obey them Uh, we can see that in acts chapter 4 verses 18 to 20 it says so they called the apostles back in and commanded them never again to speak or teach in the name of jesus but peter and james john replied do you think god want us to obey you rather than him we cannot stop telling about him about everything we have seen and heard the second time peter arrested was in acts 5 in acts 5 the sanhedrin arrested peter a second time and this time an angel got peter out the officers did not find peter there although they found the jail they they found the jail securely locked and the guards were still standing at the door the angel told peter to go to right back into the temple courts and start preaching again and i am sure that was a slap in the face of sanhedrin god was proving remember this is what happens beloved that when you keep on trusting the lord when you keep on believing in the lord whatever comes uh, our god is faithful our god is alive you are serving a living god and remember that's why we shouldn't be scared we shouldn't be afraid we should always know that god is in control without his knowledge nothing will happen all we have to do is trust in him believe in him and hope in him uh, remember 
when they found out uh, that he was out there again they arrested him again and beat him and commanded him not to speak in the name of Jesus again and so considering peter's history in jail the court room we can see why herod go to such great lengths this time with peter remember herod thought of passover celebration would be a great time to put peter on trial remember the jews would all over be there to observe the passover and herod wanted to have a public trial immediately after it was over herod thought this would uh, help his relationship with the this this would help his relationship with the jews uh, not to mention this would probably a strong reminder that christ was arrested and crucified shortly after the passover celebration on a previous years uh, but god has other plans i tell you something doesn't matter what people plan about you doesn't matter what uh, what devil plans about you doesn't matter what uh, people who are against you plan about you you need to know something that god will always have better plans for you even when you go through trials struggles problems sickness disease uh, you need to know that god is in control uh, do not lose hope uh, do not think that god uh, has left you many people tell me that your life is so good and they think that uh, you know i had nothing to lose or i have not lost anything my childhood was horrible i have suffered like anything you know the pain and suffering that i have gone through many of you can't even imagine uh, when i share my testimony to in the smaller groups uh, you know people are shocked uh, how can a man can suffer so much uh, that is i am the by product of the suffering that i have gone through i have endured trials and struggles in my life uh, remember everyone has a story everyone has a plan god has a plan and according to their calling god will prepare them some will be prepared in their old age some will be prepared in their teenage some will be prepared when they are small some will be prepared in their middle age but it all depends upon god uh, but all you have to do is you need to trust god you need to uh, allow god to work in your life you need to know that god is in control over your life uh, when we read acts chapter 12 verses 6 to 11 there we can see the escape of peter peter's miraculous escape from prison it says uh, the night before peter was to be placed on trial he was asleep fastened with two chains between two soldiers uh, others stood guard at the prison gate suddenly there was a bright light in the cell and an angel of the lord stood before peter the angel struck him on the side to awaken him and said quick get up and the chains fell off his wrist uh, then the angel told him get dressed and put on your sandals and he did now put on your coat and follow me the angel ordered So Peter left the cell following the angel but all the time he thought it was a vision he didn't realize it was actually happening they passed the first and second guard post and came to the iron gate leading to the city and this opened for them all by itself so they passed through through and started walking down the street and then the angel suddenly left him Peter finally came to his senses it really it's really true he said the lord has sent his angel and saved me from herod and from what the jewish leader had planned me to do remember sure enough uh, we see that herod was right uh, in thinking they should uh, take great measures to keep peter in custody four squads of four soldiers charged with keeping peter in custody at the risk of their own life remember roman soldiers were under the threat of death if a prisoner escapes and their custody in their custody as we find out in verse 19 that this is exactly what happened herod ordered the guards to be executed because peter has escaped 
their custody. I want to tell you something that the people who dig a pit for you will fall in their own pit when you walk with the Lord. People who think evil of you, people who think to destroy you, if you are walking with the Lord, if you have a life of integrity, if you are living a holy life, I tell you beloved that no person on this planet can touch you. Even if they touch you, God is in control. Even if they put you in a pit, God knows how to take, bring you out uh, and that's going to happen. Remember to Jeremiah they were thrown he was thrown into pit uh, later people came and put uh, took him out uh, that's our god uh, that's our god who works for us uh, remember you don't need to be afraid of anything you don't need to be afraid of any situation you don't need to be afraid of any trials and struggles know that god is in control remember uh, when the death was uh, hanging upon peter what was happening is uh, Peter is uh, sleeping chained in a cell between two Roman soldiers uh, and two soldiers outside the cell but then comes an angel of God. Uh, remember whatever situation might be there when you are walking with the Lord, when you are honest, obedient, loyal, remember he will send his angels to charge over you. I, I can feel in my spirit I am speaking to someone right now. In your situation you have walked with God uh, but you have always uh, God been persecuted you have always suffered loss uh, but i tell you something that he is sending his angel to charge over you and those angels are going to work on your behalf and you are going to witness a mighty hand of god in your life in that situation says the lord just receive it uh, in the name of jesus remember an angel appeared in the cell along with a great uh, light the angel poked peter in the side and told him to get up and get dressed when the angel poked peter the chains that had bound him to the soldiers uh, fell off uh, peter had no idea what was what was happening was real he thought uh, he was seeing a vision the angel let Peter pass the guard outside his cell and the great iron gate leading to the gate and then the angel appeared. Remember that's what happens uh, when God sends his angels to, to protect you, to guard you, to, to take care of your situations, the bondage breaks uh, and that's going to happen in your life. Uh, when you have an encounter of God in your life, that bondage is, uh, that is holding you back is going to break in Jesus name. Just receive your miracle in the name of Jesus receive that deliverance in the name of Jesus uh, as you are watching me right now uh, chains are been broken bondages are been destroyed strongholds are been destroyed just receive it in the name of Jesus do not allow devil to put a doubt in your heart just receive it in faith uh, and claim your miracle Lord I receive my deliverance Lord I receive my receive my miracle just receive it in faith and you will see that happen uh, that is very very important uh, then verse 11 says uh, and it says that after the angels appear disappeared Peter came to his senses uh, we can only imagine what was going through Peter's mind here he thinks uh, he has been seeing a vision but suddenly the angel appeared disappeared and Peter is alone when Peter is left here alone in the city streets uh, Peter has suddenly realized uh, this has all been real. Peter suddenly realizes this is real and the plans uh, of Herod and Jews uh, were being uh, saddened or thwarted uh, again by God. Uh, remember Peter was satisfied that his future, Peter was satisfied in a situation that his future was death. Uh, Peter was satisfied that his life on earth uh, was finished. Uh, he knew that Herod, uh, what Herod had done to James uh, and he was satisfied uh, that it, ha it was his turn now. As Peter was sitting in his cell, he was satisfied that his work on earth was done. Uh, many of you are watching me, you must be like the Peter. He was sleeping because he had that uh, assurance that what work God has given him is he, is, uh, he has completed. Uh, he was not afraid. Uh, he was not uh, he was not struggling. He, he was sleeping soundly. But remember, God had other plans. Many of you are watching me. You think that your work on earth is being done. You, you have finished your work 
work but i have a word from the lord i tell you something that you it is time for you to run till now you have walked with god uh, but there is a time coming where you have to run with god uh, and you have to run for the lord uh, and the time of harvest is uh, up front uh, and you will see that taking place in your life all you have to do is uh, trust in the lord believe in the lord uh, give everything in god's hand uh, remember peter was certain that uh, that the jews gathered for the passover were going to be very happy to see peter gone but because he was no longer furthering judaism but uh, christianity but after the angel appeared peter suddenly realized uh, that god has rescued him from the clutches of herod uh, and from everything the jewish people were anticipating uh, but remember that uh, we see that peter was thinking while he was in prison and uh, look back at the phrase when in verse 6 it was saying peter was sleeping i i wonder how many of us uh, can be sleeping if we know that today you and i we can be killed uh, we will be thinking to write a letter to our family or how can i tell my family i loved them but here peter was uh, sleeping and it's a shocking phrase uh, if you or i were sitting there waiting for our death the next day would would we be sleeping uh, we lose sleep because of the things a lot of less than anticipating our death don't we and uh, what peace and trust peter had in god in order to sleep the night uh, before his death uh, what power is wrapped up in those three verses uh, that peter was sleeping uh, remember once jesus was sleeping when there was storm in the on the on the water and he was sleeping remember those who know the lord those who walk with the lord uh, remember they will never have sleepless nights uh, whatever struggles you go through whatever trials you go through when you know that god is in control and he is uh, in he is going to take care of you and your family you will have a very sound sleep uh, the night before herod was uh, was to bring him to trial peter was sleeping and peter had peace even in the face of death uh, but god got him out of that situation and the story continues uh, remember many of you might be thinking that your life is coming to an end uh, you might not work for god again uh, because of this pandemic now you might and meant you might end up in this pandemic i tell you something that uh, whatever situation might be you don't lose hope uh, i remember uh, yes day before yesterday i had to take a sister who was not keeping well to the hospital uh, and we were going to fro- going from one hospital to another hospital and uh, they were detecting that they thought that she was having uh, covid 19 uh, because she was having fever of 99 and more uh, but you know i felt in my spirit that uh, covid cannot take hold of him i t- took authority there and we took her to another hospital and when she was tested there it she was normal and within half an hour she got discharged uh, what i am telling mean to tell you if you fear it will catch you it will catch you but if you have faith in the lord uh, i always tell god that you are the one who are who is in charge of my life uh, without your knowledge uh, covid 19 cannot touch me without your knowledge corona virus cannot touch me i don't live in fear i i am filled with peace of god and that is what we need to have uh, i tell you something the blood of jesus is more powerful than corona virus uh, the blood of jesus is more power more powerful than covid 19 all you have to do is trust in him and believe in him uh, when we read uh, acts chapter 12 verses 12 to 17 uh, there we can see the surprise of the people it says uh, when he realized this uh, when peter realized this uh, he went to the house of mary the mother of john mark uh, where many were gathered for prayer he knocked at the door in the gate and a servant servant girl named rhoda came to open it uh, when she recognized peter's voice uh, she was so overjoyed that instead of opening the door she ran back inside and told everyone peter is standing at the door uh, you are out of your mind they said uh, when she insisted they decided it must be his angel meanwhile 
Peter continued knocking when they finally opened the door they saw him they were amazed he motioned for them to quiet down and told them how the lord had let him out of prison tell james and other brothers what happened he said and then he went uh, to another place uh, remember here you can see that peter is out here on the street uh, with no angels uh, and what he should do now he was thinking uh, he knew that in some times uh, alarm may sound at any moment uh, and when any of the guards awaken and find that he is missing uh, what should he do where should he go he decided to go to mary's house uh, the mother of john mark uh, john mark was the one who wrote the gospel of mark uh, and there was a bunch of people gathered there to pray people not peer when peter knocked on the front door a servant girl named rhoda asked who is it uh, i am sure believers gathered inside uh, were afraid uh, you know they knew that james had been put to death uh, they knew that peter had been arrested uh, and they wondered if roman soldiers were outside uh, waiting to take him uh, take them away just imagine the amount of fear they might be having in the situations uh, and uh, that that roda asked uh, roda uh, roda asked her who was there peter answered uh, uh, peter answered uh, when roda recognized peter's voice uh, she was overjoyed uh, she was so overjoyed that she didn't even open the door she ran to tell others uh, and they said uh, that she must be crazy they knew what had happened to james uh, and they had uh, and uh, they they just couldn't believe that peter wouldn't get the same result uh, but she kept insisting and peter kept knocking and when they finally opened the door they were astonished uh, they just could not uh, could not believe it uh, they were surprised and peter told them to keep quiet so they so he could tell them what happened uh, and after he told them what happened uh, he left them that's what happens uh, many times we are praying uh, for a miracle and when miracle takes place uh, we become like the same people we can't believe it uh, but as a christian we think that we are supposed to pray but when a miracle takes place uh, you know even christians are the ones they don't believe it uh, they said how is it possible and they believe the signs maybe there was nothing wrong uh, but i tell you something those who walk with the lord uh, they will always expect miracle the amount of uh, miracle that i am going through i am experiencing in this lockdown i cannot share it on the camera also but those who are in my inner circle they know the amount uh, the, the 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 miracles that are taking place in my life uh, and uh, when the, when the world is struggling in this uh, pandemic uh, i see that god is elevating me i see that god is thinking of me and that's not only with the, the case is not the same with me with everyone i know who are believing in jesus god is elevating them in this situation and the, the when we read uh, uh, acts chapter 12 verses 18 to 23 there we can see the irony of the story it says at dawn there was a great commotion among the soldiers uh, about what had happened to peter herod agrippa ordered a thorough search for him when he couldn't uh, uh, when he couldn't uh, be found uh, herod intro interrogated the soldiers and sentenced them to death uh, afterwards uh, herod left judea to stay in caesarea for a while uh, when we read from verse 20 to 22 there we can see now herod was very angry with the people of tyre and sidon so they sent a delegation to make peace with him because their cities were dependent upon herod's country for food uh, the delegates won the support of uh, blasters uh, herod's uh, personal assistant uh, and uh, an appointment with herod was granted uh, when the when the day arrived uh, herod put on his royal robes sat on his throne and made a speech to them 
द पी पीपल गेव हिम अ ग्रेट ओवेशन शाउटिंग इट इज़ द वॉइस ऑफ अ गॉड नॉट ऑफ अ मैन इंस्टेंटली एन एंजल ऑफ द लॉर्ड स्ट्रक हैरोद विथ अ सिकनेस बिकॉज ही एक्सेप्टेड द पीपल्स वर्शिप इंस्टेड ऑफ गिविंग द ग्लोरी टू गॉड सो ही वॉज कंस्यूम्ड विथ वॉम्स एंड डाइड just imagine herod thought of killing peter but what has happened the irony of the story is that uh, it turned out much differently than anyone could have imagined uh, luke began telling the story by simply stating in one sentence uh, that james uh, had been put to death by by the sword uh, then in the next sentence he said peter was arrested uh, now as we read only these two sentences uh, we can imagine what is going to happen next uh, but it turned out uh, much differently than we or they realized uh, even peter said in verse 11 that it turned out differently than he imagined uh, peter said it that it turned out differently than herod had imagined uh, it turned out differently than the jews had imagined uh, the peter at mary's house were astonished uh, at how it had turned out uh, and all these responses uh, were before the before the whole story had been told uh, peter escaping was not the end of the story first uh, there was the escape uh, but then there were the guards uh, remember who could have imagined uh, that while peter was been guarded by 16 soldiers uh, until his death uh, that uh, they would be the ones uh, who would uh, die and peter would go free who could have imagined that uh, then there was herod uh, who could have imagined that after he had successfully put uh, james to death uh, that he would fall with uh, he would fail with peter uh, who could have imagined uh, that had, that after he had arrested peter and was waiting for his death uh, that he himself would die just a few months later uh, and who would have imagined uh, that he would have uh, he who had put james to death by the sword uh, would die by the worms uh, who could have imagined that beloved uh, who could have imagined uh, the ironic twist this story would take uh, who could have imagined uh, that any of this would turn out the way it did uh, after we read the death of james uh, and the arrest of peter but that's not all uh, you need to look uh, at verse 24 uh, where we see the result of the story it says uh, acts 12 24 i feel the presence of god as i'm i'm about to read this verse uh, because i believe that's what's going to happen in india and many parts of the nation so uh, it says meanwhile the word of god continued to spread uh, and there were many new believers uh, remember who could have imagined that after the first three verse of this chapter that there will be the kingdom of god will be preached uh, and new believers would be added uh, and uh, who would have imagined or think thought uh, that church would grow after reading the first three verses of this chapter the first three verses of this chapter it read like this uh, about that time king herod agrippa began to persecute some believers in the church uh, he had the apostle john's brother killed with a sword when herod saw how much this pleased the jews people jewish people he also arrested peter this take this took place during the passover celebration remember we like them would have expected and predicted gloom and doom for the church uh, but that's not what happened uh, when we read verse 24 it says the word of god uh, continued to spread uh, and there were many new believers uh, and praise god for that and that's what happens uh, in every situations uh, remember uh, that god can turn what looked like the worst uh, situation god can turn your situation god can turn your trials uh, god can turn your the the struggles you are going through remember you need to learn to trust in the lord believe in the lord put your faith in him trust in him uh, but did you notice one thing as i was sharing this uh, message uh, we have skipped one verse uh, it was verse 5 uh, you know it is just kind of struck in there by luke uh, 
by Luke, but I believe this is what made the difference uh, in the outcome of the story. It says uh, when we read uh, Acts chapter 12 verses 4 and 5, uh, fifth is the important thing, but verse 4 it says, Then he imprisoned him, placing him under the guards of four squads of four soldiers each. Uh, Herod intended uh, to bring Peter out for public trial after the Passover, but while Peter was in prison, the church prayed earnestly for him that is the difference uh, there is the difference uh, but the church was earnestly praying to god for him uh, mary was earnestly praying to god for peter rhoda was un earnestly praying to god for peter mark was earnestly praying to god for peter barnabas and saul was earnestly praying to god for peter many other people were un earnestly praying to god for peter at mary's house uh, the other Apostle named James was earnestly praying to God for Peter. Other brothers mentioned in verse 17 were earnestly praying to God for Peter. What made the difference, beloved? What made the difference? Uh, the church was earnestly praying to God for Peter. That is very, very important. Uh, prayer can change things. Uh, if you start praying for the economy of India, we will our country will the economy will increase uh, the moment you start praying for a prime minister in india you will see things taking place differently the problem is the church doesn't want to pray the church wants to condemn the god's uh, appointed one uh, and god's chosen servant uh, i tell you something that you need to give uh, give matters in god's hand uh, and stop becoming god uh, god is not your father-in-law that you can do anything and say anything you have to you have to follow the word of god uh, you have to follow the word that is very very important uh, when we read ephesians 3 20 it says uh, now all glory to god who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think uh, remember the church was earnestly praying for peter but they had no idea how this was going to turn out uh, but remember uh, they were earnestly praying for peter but when he showed up at the door they thought rhoda was out of her mind uh, they weren't even hoping for his release uh, remember we don't know what they were specifically praying for but uh, we just know that they were praying earnestly for him uh, we know they weren't praying for his release uh, because of their reaction when he showed up uh, they were astonished uh, they didn't had any idea what what God would do but they were praying earnestly and because they prayed earnestly for Peter God did immeasurably more than all they asked or imagined because they prayed earnestly for Peter God did immeasurably more than all they could ask or imagine they prayed earnestly for Peter and God did more than they asked or imagined by sending an angel to make miraculously get Peter out of the chains, uh, out of the cell and into the prayer meetings. Uh, they prayed earnestly for Peter and God did immeasurably more than all they asked and imagined by getting the guards put to death uh, instead of Peter. Uh, remember uh, when they prayed earnestly for Peter, God did immeasurably more than all they asked or imagined by freeing Peter from the sword and feeding Herod to the worms. Uh, remember what happened is that uh, when they prayed earnestly, remember it caused the church to grow as a result of all this uh, and all the God's people said, uh, wow remember that's what's happening that the when people when people witness the work of god uh, remember i am still filled with wow i'm filled uh, still filled with awe 
that what god has done in my life during this pandemic uh, the miracles that i'm watching the the things that are taking place uh, you know i can cannot put it in uh, words uh, but uh, i tell you something in one word i will say wow that uh, when you see hand of god uh, when you see that god works in your life uh, when you do these things you will you, the, you will see that the things taking place uh, and all this could uh, happen uh, because uh, they decided to pray beloved it is very important your prayers got power and you need to pray you need to have a lifestyle of prayer that is very very important uh, when we read philippians uh, chapter 4 verse 6 uh, to 9 it says uh, don't worry about anything instead pray about everything tell god what you need and thank him for all he has done uh, then you will experience god's peace uh, which uh, exceeds anything we can understand uh, his peace will guard your heart and minds as you live in christ jesus uh, and now dear brothers and sister one final thing fix your thought on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable thinking think about things uh, that are excellent and worthy of praise uh, keep putting into practice all you learned uh, and receive from me everything you heard from me and saw me doing then the god of peace will be with you remember why they could witness such a thing is because the church earnestly prayed uh, remember not to show off uh, there was no live streaming there was they were not showing what they were doing they were all in their rooms alone and they were praying uh, i i wonder they, they uh, and i think they they were not praying for uh, freeing uh, peter they thought he will be killed uh, maybe they were praying that god give him the grace uh, give him the fill with him mercy and give him the grace to endure this uh, to this pain that he is going to suffer but god has other plans uh, that is why when you pray you need to pray abba your will be done i don't know how to pray that's why you need the holy spirit uh, i believe that they were all filled with the spirit uh, and they were praying in tongues uh, and holy spirit on prayed on their behalf uh, and angels were sent down on earth uh, to protect peter uh, i believe that uh, that uh, this message has blessed you but before i close uh, i will share a story with you that will encourage you to pray remember a missionary on leave uh, told the story while visiting his home in michigan while serving at a small field hospital in africa every two weeks uh, he traveled by bicycle through the jungles to a nearby city for supplies uh, this was a journey journey of two days uh, and required camping overnight at the halfway point uh, one of these journeys uh, he arrived in the city where he planned to collect money from a bank uh, purchase medicine and supplies uh, and then begin his two day journey back to the field hospital upon arrival in the city he observed two men fighting one whom he had been who he one whom had been seriously injured uh, he treated him for his injuries uh, and at the same time talked to him about the lord uh, he then traveled two days camping overnight uh, and arrived home without accident uh, two weeks late later he repeated his journey upon arriving in the city he was approached by the young man he had treated uh, he told uh, him that he had known he carried money and medicines uh, he said some friends and i followed you into the jungle knowing you would camp overnight we planned to kill you and take your money and drugs uh, but just as we were about to move into your camp we saw that you were surrounded by 26 uh, armed guards uh, at this he laughed and said uh, i was certainly all alone in that in that jungle camp site uh, the young man pressed the point uh, 
however and said the no sir i was not the only person to see the guards my friends also saw them and we all counted them it was because of those guards that we were afraid and left you alone at this point in the sermon one of the men in the congregation jumped to his feet and interrupted the missionary and asked if he could tell him the exact day this happened the missionary told the congregation the date the man who interrupted told him the story on the night of your incident in africa i was it was morning here and i was preparing to play golf i was about to put when i felt uh the urge to pray for you in fact the urging of the lord was so strong i could uh, i called men in this church to meet with me uh, here in the sanctuary to pray for you would all of those uh, men who would uh, who who met with me on that day stand up he asked uh, the men who had met together to pray that day stood up uh, the miss- missionary wasn't concerned with who they were he was too busy counting how many men he saw they were uh, 26 uh, i tell you something beloved uh, if you ever hear such a prodding to pray go along with it uh, nothing is ever hurt uh, by prayer except the gates of hell remember when you pray you are not going to lose anything you are not going to lose your money in your bank uh, you are not going to lose the wealth of this world uh, but when you pray something supernatural will take place uh, things will happen and that's what is important uh, this lockdown has been a time for me in prayer you know it's been a time of prayer and fasting for me and i am preparing myself for a bigger bigger breakthroughs uh, when this pandemic is over remember many are saying it can go to 2021 also i don't know about it lord has not revealed anything to me if it does surely you will be notified uh, but what matters to me is uh, this is the time that god is giving for his children to prepare uh, i tell you something in this time itself uh, we have seen baptisms taking place uh, in this time we have seen people coming to the lord uh, in this time we have seen people repenting of their sin in this time we have seen that people entering into the kingdom of god uh, remember pandemic is not an issue for christians uh, pandemic is an opportunity for christians uh, to preach the word uh, to share the word uh, use this time to pray come more closer to god uh, stop browsing in youtube uh, only watch what is necessary if you think that watching my video is not important you can skip it uh, but i tell you something you use this time uh, use this time to pray more uh, i know one thing that those who are watching my video they're growing in the lord i remember a testimony one sister messaged me she said uh, i just came to know you some days back uh, and every day i'm watching one video of yours uh, and every video i watch uh, it gives me more burden to pray for my nation it gives me more burden to pray for my country it gives me more burden to pray for the soul and that is what all video should bring to you to remember if listening to your video if it is just giving information but there is no burden for you but to pray for any situation then the such videos are of no use to you there is no point in collecting data and information but uh, you don't know how to use it it is important you pray beloved uh, when you pray things happen uh, and situations will change uh, all you have to do is uh, trust in him believe in him there is uh, power in prayer you have no idea that when you when you study on power prayer remember jesus being the son of god uh, you open up your bible and read uh, it in many places it said uh, he was praying whole night uh, he says he was having he was having a lifestyle of prayer and that is how we need to be we need to be praying in our life uh, and i tell you something if you learn a prayerful life if you learn to make a lifestyle of prayer remember that you will never suffer struggles uh, 
their problems will come trials will come but those struggles will not impact you you will always uh, you will always rise above hate uh, you will always rise above situations uh, you will always rise above uh, trials and struggles uh, devil brings uh, but remember god is in control if he can deliver peter i tell you he can deliver you but also know one thing that he didn't deliver james uh, the question comes couldn't he do that he could have uh, but remember there are some things that need to take place uh, stephen had to die but uh, saul was saved uh, james had to die peter was saved uh, we all have different uh, different ministry for a different time uh, remember uh, how much time god has given you be faithful be loyal be true be honest with him live a life of integrity so that you when you meet him you will not be filled with uh, ashamed uh, you are not ashamed of yourself uh, when you meet him let us pray father god we come to thy presence in this wonderful time master lord we come to your throne of grace i give your children into thy hand their lives into thy hands master no plan of the devil no plan of the evil one prevail upon their life master lord i give today's word into thy hand i believe that you have spoken to them master lord give them a heart of prayer master give them a desire to pray master lord every sluggishness brought by the devil be removed in the name of jesus uh, every spirit of laziness brought by the devil be removed and destroyed in the name of Jesus sir uh, no plan of the devil no plan of the evil one prevail upon their love in the upon their life's master lord may your hand of power provision and protection be upon their life master lord every trials they are going through every struggles they are going through every problems they are going through you know it master nothing is hidden from you master and lord help them to outgrow such situations master give them a heart of flesh master give them a burden to pray for the for our nations their nation give them a burden to pray for their leaders uh, and chief ministers uh, governors uh, commissioners uh, lord give them a desire to pray for their higher authority master give them the burden master to live for you master to be obedient to your word master lord you're doing it for that i thank you master no plan of the devil no plan of the evil one prevail upon their life master deliver them from the evil one abba deliver them from the evil plans of the devil every pit that has been dug for them lord uh, lord uh, those who have dug them master we pray that may they come to repentance master and lord uh, let your will be done in their lives master lord lord not a single soul master be be destroyed master may everyone enter into your kingdom master uh, no uh, souls perish master uh, i pray for our nation i pray for our prime minister i pray for our economy of our nation master bless the economy master fill fill our leaders with your heavenly wisdom and knowledge master lord there is nothing impossible for you master i believe and we believe master that you are not done with our nation master lord let your will be done master give the give the give people a burden to pray for their nation master and give them the understanding master that to pray when they pray master they go into their rooms uh, not telling people what they are doing master and they get right with you first uh, and lord they fight their battles on their knees master lord you are doing it for that i thank you in jesus precious name we pray amen 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 i believe this message has blessed you if this message has blessed you see to it that you share this message with your friends and loved ones if you are using an android phone or an apple phone you can download my app app name is evans francis if the lord leads you become a pillar of fire or a pillar of cloud of our small ministry if you haven't subscribed to this channel do subscribe hit the bell icon so whenever i come live or i share a video you will be notified may god bless you may his face shine upon you keep smiling stay blessed shalom